So here we are on our SPS 2008 uh, console and looking to install Windows SharePoint Services Service Pack 3. So the very first thing we probably need to have a look at is the current version of SharePoint and to do that we go into Start, Administrative Tools, go into SharePoint 3.0 Central Administration. Now what we'll have to do obviously is accept the UAC control and when the Central Admin site um, is displayed we need to select the operations tab and then from there we need to look at the um, servers in farm and that'll give us an indication of um, the version of our SharePoint. So here we are on our central admin and as I just said we go into the operations tab and then once we're in operations we have a look at servers in farm and we notice that the current version is 12.0.0.6421 so we'll come back and check this later after we've applied the service pack. So the next thing we need to do then is to download the appropriate service pack for our Windows SharePoint Services 3.0. Uh, it's important to note that we're going to need to download the 64-bit edition because um, what is installed on SPS 2008 is a 64-bit edition. So again, once we click on the option to download that, we'll notice it's taken to a page that again indicates a 64-bit edition. And if we scroll down, we'll see that that file is actually about 34 megs in size. So having downloaded that file, the next step is, is as we see here, uh, locate that on the uh, local hard disk and basically as you can see it's a nice round 35,000 KB. So to run that we simply right mouse click and select the run as administrator option. Um, that should now launch our service pack for us and allow us to install it on our SPS system. We're prompted to uh, accept the UAC. We're then asked to uh, accept the licensing terms, which we just uh, make that acceptance and then click continue and you'll see that the update detection is being run right now. So once it's installed, finishing this on the binaries will automatically launch the uh, configuration wizard. So again, we need to just step through this manually. So we simply click next. Note that it will restart our IIS service, which may impact some other applications, but generally just accept yes. And again, you'll notice that this will now go through and um, upgrade all the components of our SharePoint farm to uh, the latest version of the files that have been downloaded with the service pack. You'll see that it takes about 10 steps um, to run through to completion.
Okay, so we can see that the process has uh, completed successfully and we select the finish button to close the um, SharePoint wizard. Uh, once we do that, uh, it will launch, we can launch the browser and let's go in and have a look at our um, SharePoint uh, central admin site. So if we go into our central admin um, and have a look at our uh, operations tab, again have a look at servers on farm, we'll see that the version has now been upgraded to 12.0.0.6608. So again we have uh, the latest version. If we then go in and have a look at our company web, we'll see that we can also bring this up and this functions basically as expected. So again, uh, what the preferred method is, is obviously to download the uh, SharePoint services, Service Pack 3 manually, make sure that you get the 64-bit version, download that, uh, install it on your system as an administrator. Once it is installed, the binaries will then need to run the configuration wizard. Um, step through that for about 10 steps. Once that's finished, you should then see that your farm has been upgraded to version 6608. Thank you very much for watching.